Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to resume our discussion on um, the subject of electrical and electronics measurement. And so far uh, in this subject, we have discussed the basic introductory concepts. And in the previous videos, uh, we just uh, started with uh, the performance characteristics of measurement system okay so I would uh, request you to please watch all the videos related to this subject so far which uh, I have uploaded and then watch the next series of videos which uh, I will post so that you understand them in a better way so we're discussing about the uh, measurement system and uh, also in the sensors transducers uh, section and also in electrical and electronics measurement uh, i have discussed about the basic block diagram of measurement system which consists of the individual blocks what is their purpose what is their uh, you know working principle their operation everything so we just uh, started with the characteristics of measurement system so we can divide it into two parts, two categories, uh, static characteristics and dynamic characteristics. So static characteristics are those which almost they remain constant over a period of time or even if they, you know, they change, they change very slowly. Okay, so the static characteristics are those, the important static characteristics of a system or a device or an instrument, they are accuracy, sensitivity, repeatability, reproducibility, you know, uh, drift, threshold, resolution, uh, error, dead zone, dead time, all of that, they fall in this uh, category. So we, we were discussing the static characteristics. So far, I think we have discussed accuracy, error, different types of error, how to uh, represent accuracy, the mathematical representation uh, that we have discussed. So uh, the dynamic characteristics, they vary very rapidly. Okay, So they have different other parameters to express the dynamic characteristics of a system. So we'll discuss it also in separate videos. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, repeatability and reproducibility okay so whenever we uh, you know say repeatability and reproducibility of a measurement system they you know some they almost mean the same thing okay but there is a you no know, slight difference between the two okay and they're very important parameters so let us try to understand them repeatability in measurement is very much related to uh, accuracy and also it is related to precision so we have not discussed precision but it is very much related to that okay accuracy and precision so accuracy we know is the closeness of an instrument reading to the true value the exact value how close the instrument reading is to the true value that is accuracy so repeatability what it means is that suppose uh, suppose we have a device okay a measurement measuring device we have that okay we have a device we give it an input any measurement parameter it produces a output let's say this is the first time again during let's call it i1 let's call it o1 then again during the same time uh, the second time the same device we give the same input i1 okay this time it produces output o2 and similarly we continue this process third time fourth time and we get outputs o3 o4 and up to the nth time we get output on 
but the input is fixed okay that is very important the input is fixed let's call it i only okay in order to avoid any confusion uh, let's call it i only okay only i that is the input which is fixed input is fixed but we get different outputs so here what repeatability means is that the output readings which we are getting o3 o4 on how close they are okay how close they are to the true value what suppose we are getting outputs let's say for a for the same input let's say we are getting outputs to in one case we are getting 1.9 then we are getting in some case 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. In some case we are getting 1.8 like that. Let's say the output reading, readings are that. So here we want to know these output readings, how close they are to each other. Okay. They are not varying by you no know, large amounts. That is what we are trying to, you know, uh, get. So what happens normally is that we get all the readings, then we take the average of it. Then the average reading, the average or the mean that we get that is taken as the, you know, the average value of all the readings. So that is that is that comes later in the statistical analysis of measurement we will not bring that topic right now. But repeatability is basically the closeness of several output readings when the same input is applied in a repetitive way over a short period of time. In repeatability, what happens, the important thing, the important condition is that the instrument or the device, okay, this device which we are using, the observer, the person who is taking the readings, the location, the place where, where we are taking the readings where the input is being applied, the operating conditions temperature, pressure, whatever variables that can affect the process, that and the method of measurement, whether it is analog, digital, whatever method which we are using, that should be fixed. Okay. In all the trials that we are doing up to the nth trial, the observer, the place, the location, the operating conditions, the measurement method, whether we are doing it in analog form or digital form, Whatever, whatever which we are doing, it should stay fixed. That is the important condition in repeatability. Now comes the turn of reproducibility. Reproducibility also has the same definition. That is, it is the closeness of output readings when the same input is applied to a device. But here the condition is that the instrument, the observer, the location, the operating conditions, the measurement methods can change. They should be different. Okay. F for example, let's say we are taking the reading of uh, our body temperature. Okay. So one thermometer we use, we get a particular reading. Then using a different thermometer, we'll take a different reading. Then suppose we are taking the reading inside our house then we'll go outside the house we'll take a reading then we'll go to the rooftop we take a different reading so like that okay different device okay different observer different place different measurement method suppose uh, we take it in uh, no, the digital thermometers which are available nowadays we use that instead of the mercury bulb thermometer so in the analog scale one so instead of that we'll use a digital thermometer like that okay we use different techniques different uh, measurement methods different observer w once we take we take the we see the value then maybe some of our relatives they will see the value so the observer is changing the instrument is changing the measurement method is changing the location is changing and then doing all of this the closeness of output readings how close the output readings are to the to each other that is called as reproducibility okay so when we say rep repeatability and reproducibility they mean the same thing closeness of multiple output readings when 
a particular fixed input is applied to a system okay but in repeatability same instrument method same observer same location same operating conditions but in reproducibility different instrument different method different observer different location and different operating condition that is what separates repeatability from reproducibility okay so in short uh, if you want to remember this both the definitions the core definitions are the same closeness of multiple output readings to the same fixed input but in repeatability the everything everything associated with the measurement stays the same constant fixed but with re uh, reproducibility every thing associated with the measurement process is changed okay it is it is changed and that is the definition of reproducibility okay so this is uh, an important thing related to uh, the measurement system